everyone, I don't know what that was, um, it's Emily and today I am going to be, I said I'd do this in a vlogmas video, I said I would do this, I'm going to show you my Undertale Pearl B collection, it's not finished, <laughs> I'm, I took a break from doing all of this because it's so time consuming, when GCC started obviously, um, but now they're over and I'm on holiday so I am going to get back into it and like properly get in some new designs and stuff but I'll show you my whole collection which is quite big <laughs> yeah and I have some big ones in here which I am very happy about but I'm going to leave them to last so you get to keep watching okay so I've got the different categories out but I wanted to show you guys this before um kind of a spoiler for what you might see <laughs> um this is how I kind of do it I draw these myself like I figure out <laughs> the colors and stuff and like plan out what it's gonna look like so obviously this is a nice one one that's how I work and then I have boards that I then bead over so that's the process it takes a long time just to do this so firstly in my little collection are my little <laughs> I won't call them insignificant but like just random things in undertale um so the first one is the save icon or like Fisk's determination, you might call it. Just a random little shape. <laughs> um, I have a hot dog that sands, uh, bounces on your head in Hotland, and there's dog hair stuck in the beads, of course, if you've seen my dog. <laughs> um, I have the spaghetti that Papyrus makes. Yep. I have the butterscotch pie that Toriel gives you. I am gonna say these look so much better. <laughs> these look so much better in camera than they do in real life, <laughs> which is usually backwards to what it's meant to be. But they genuinely look so good in the camera. Um, there is a glam burger from oh god, I can't remember his name. The guy um, in the hotel who sells glam burgers is <laughs> Metaton's kind of brand, but I I can't remember his name. And I have Frisk's heart. I am gonna make all versions of this probably today if I want to. <laughs> Actually, no, I can't run out of beads. I ran out of black beads, which is why I haven't done many. But I will do all the versions of this. Yeah. Next up is just my dummy collection. So I have Glad Dummy. Oh, that's just the dummy in the beginning, just dummy. Mad Dummy. I'm very mad, dummy. Uh, these were really annoying to make because their shape is really weird. Their shape is incredibly odd and it was a pain to make these. But they're worth it, they look great. My dummies. <laughs> Next up is my annoying dog collection. So we have this little guy, oh, I'll defend him. This guy who's steals the bone in Undyne's house yep just a little plain dog um obviously I just have annoying dog I love annoying dog <laughs> just a plain one um I can't remember where this is I think it's when Metaton's got the bombs yeah it's um the one with the little fire on his tail which is adorable I am making the one with the rope around him and hanging which is what Papyrus does in his little battle thing and I've also I don't think this is in the game or or it might be actually near the end uh, <laughs> why not why not make an annoying dog in a bikini why the hell not I think he is near the end of the game um, next is my just I've got a thing of random characters that don't really fit well they do but I have a tiny flowery which is like this is the second thing I ever made just a tiny flowy, pretty simple. Just the one that you kind of see popping out the ground every now and then. Um, I have an Asriel, which is very nice. I don't like the colour of his, I don't have a lighter green than that, so I don't really like the jumper, whatever. I have a monster kid. Oh, the black's really weird, there we go. Oh, I shouldn't have worn black. <laughs> but yeah, monster kid. I don't know what's in his hair. I think I just looked at a photo of him and he has this weird thing, so again, dog hair. Um, I have the snowman. Oh, I can't hold things. I have the snowman. 
Oh, one thing you should know about pearly beads, they don't last, like, you have to be so gentle with these, like, already that's falling off, but... I have a temmy! Oh. <laughs> that's gonna need fixing. I have a temmy, which I really like. <laughs> Um, I also have with that Temi a <laughs> a hoi and a boy. I think they're the right. They might be the wrong way for you. I'm sorry because of the like camera. For some reason they like making noise. Um, yeah, hoi and boy. Oh god, I dropped it. Don't drop these. And then finally, I have. Oh no, she lost a foot. Well, not a foot. She lost an AB that came off her foot. I have an Alphys, which I think is adorable. Um, main character wise, I obviously have a Frisk, which Frisk is so weird. He's like brown in random places. Like, I don't know, he's just weird and he doesn't look exactly how I want him to, but he does look like the character in the game, so. And with Frisk, I obviously have a Kara, which again, I don't like. I don't like that, like all that, like her trousers and her feet are brown, it doesn't look right, but you actually never see Kara in game, so, like, whole body in game, so. Oh well, they're fine, their necks are really long. <laughs> um, next I had a Napster bloop. I was, I did actually originally have these connecting, but the beads were so on their own. I didn't have see-through beads to, like, fill the gap, so they just broke straight away, but. It's just a little Napster bloop. Um, then I, I kind of started exploring this sort of just simple pearl bead like block designs. I decided to like try and like get some more arty. So uh, we've got some shading and like blue streaks. And I think he looks cool. He's, he looks so much better on camera, honestly. Yeah, that's my next to Um This is my Sans collection. So obviously have a plain sans. I don't know where the best place to show you. I think it's probably there or here. Um, just a plain sans. I then have the sans on his bike at the end of the game. <laughs> I just have a sans with his trombone. I don't think he actually does this in game. I've, I've got bad memory. I don't think he does this in game. He might, oh God, his thing's gonna break. So I need to fix that. And it's okay. I don't. I can't remember if he does this. Oh, it might be when they're in their house. I don't know. Whatever. But sounds like a little cut off, so we can. There we go. <laughs> and then one that I did really early on, within my designs, a big sans face. Like I could wear this as a mask. Like if I've got like some string, I could actually go like. I don't go trick or treating, but I could wear this on Halloween. I don't know. It's big. The big, like, angry sands, like, more genocide sands with his blue eyes. Ah! Oh no! Sands is splitting in half. Ah! Okay, finally onto the big, the big guns. Ones that are quite big. Well, some. Oh no. Some which are quite big. Some are not that big, but they're just iconic. And this is the first thing I ever made, and it's a papyrus, just a simple papyrus sprite. I like it a lot. I, this little thing was in his illustration, but I don't remember that in game. I don't know, it might just be me. Oh dear, things coming off. Um, yeah, just a little papyrus. It's so nice. Um, I have an undine. I am planning to make. Also, and also, like, look. <laughs> um, I do plan to make loads more. Like, this is nowhere near finished. I have so many things I need to make, and it's gonna make my collection great. Here I have an Undyne who is currently <laughs> able to bend. Um, she's always never like ironed properly. She's always done this, but I need to try and do something to stop it. But she's awesome. Again, it's just the basic online sprite. Yeah, I have Gaster, WD Gaster, who obviously is not in game at all, but who's obviously a big thing on the internet and on the tell. Um, next, I have Bretty and Cat. 
Patty, which are both quite big. I, I'm like, using my head as a comparison. They're bigger than my head. I, I, I mean, I kind of have a small head. I don't care. They're quite big, okay? The hand comparison then. Like, they are definitely bigger than my hand, but yeah. I really like Patty. I mean, Patty's good too. I just, I really like the way Catty turned out. Next, I have my bays, Metaton. So I'll start with Metaton, the robot Metaton, who is quite big, as you can see, hand for reference. Um, this is the one that you saw, like, the blueprint for, I'll call it a blueprint. It's like Metaton when he is wearing that dress. Um, I love this a lot, apart from this line down the middle where, like, we had to join it. It's hard when you've got such a big thing, because obviously they don't fit on one board. So ironing becomes a bit of a hassle. Um, and then I have ooh, a Metaton EX. Or Neo. A Metaton. Um, story about this Metaton, I had to rebuild this twice. First time, I finished him, picked him up to go iron him, and I think like, I jutted or something. I have no idea what happened, but all the beads fell out. I was very, very and then the next time it came out in the ironing, so I had to redo him again. So this guy has took me a long, a long time. He's not even my, my favorite at all, so it's, it's a bit annoying. Next, I have my flowy collections. One is more of a flowy, and then one of them is demon flowy. Um, demon flowy definitely has more, I use like more shading and like, I'll just show you. <laughs> Um, so obviously basic flowery sprite, I really like, he's big, he was one of my first ones, um, oh, hiccups, but then obviously I have demon flowery, which the, the shading is really good on him, he looks like scary, <laughs> his mouth worked out so well in his eyes, his face is just amazing and then I like the petals a lot, he just works really well and I still like the normal be so careful with these. Um, I still like the normal flowery sprite, but I really like Demon Flowery. Next, I have my Toriel collection. I do have one I'm nearly making, but I just need to draw out a little bit more. Um, I just have the Toriel sprite. I really love Toriel. <laughs> just, just Toriel. She took a while to do. She kept breaking. Her foot kept falling off. Just one foot, which annoying so she's a bit bent like as you can see she's not completely straight but that's the iron I hold her this way <laughs> um and then I really like this one it's the Talia it, oh no it's this one's foot look that's so mm, I'm gonna fall off <laughs> um it's the Toriel and Frisk kind of sprite where they're holding hands. Frisk really annoys me, I just don't like how he turns out in beads. Oh god, his foot's falling off too, why? Um, but yeah, I really like this sprite because I really love this whole thing in the game where they hold hands. The last three are my biggest creations. This one took me a long time to make, mostly because I ran out of purple beads, but an Asgore. It took so many beads. This took me weeks, mainly because I didn't have beads, but it still takes you so long. It doesn't look like these kind of things would take you too long. Honestly, the process it takes is so long. Him for size, he's big. He is a very big uh, design. He's also quite sturdy though, like there's no like flat, like the, the, like, the only thin area is like the top of his horns, but I really like him. It took us so long. So long. <laughs> but he looks really good. Okay, my last two are so big, I need to like hoist them over here. <laughs> right, my first big one, I have left the best one till last, but this one is still pretty damn good. It is a doggo. <laughs> He's so big. <laughs> As he has so many different parts to him that I need to hold on to. Uh, for size, he is big. He is a very big design. Like, he's massive. Oh, head. I love this so much. This took 
hours is actually on my vlogmas a time lapse of me filling this part of him in it takes an hour and 45 minutes just to do a torso area these things take a lot longer than they look um but i love this i love his swords the way that i just really like this dog and he's in color because he's not really in color in the game but yeah I love this doggo. Yeah. <laughs> right. So the last and my all-time favourite uh, like design is <laughs> my Papyrus. He is just as big as Doggo, but I just he looks bigger, and he's just. I'm trying not to hold him like that, but he's so delicate. So I just have to hold him like a baby. Um, oh no. Here he is. He's like, he looks amazing. I was so happy with this when I were, like, I got to hold him up and just look at him. Oh, I wish my hand wasn't in the way. If I try and hold him like that. His head's the flimsy bit because his mouth's obviously exposed, so everything flops. Okay, if like holding this like this is not gonna work. Uh, it's his head. Okay, I think you've got you've got a good look. What if I have there we go? You can just lean against me. He's big. I can't fit him in one shot. Like he's completely like like He's so flimsy, which is the problem. Like, look at his spine. That's the only thing holding up all of this. It's massive. Just give him a hug. <laughs> this took me well over three days to bead and draw. Drawing was the longest part. Again, the, in my Vlogmas, there is a video of me showing you when I was drawing him and I just started beading him and then the finishing product, actually. He's massive. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so proud of him. I seriously love this guy so much. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my Pella Bee collection. If you want to see more videos about this, please tell me. I'd be like glad to show you the whole process of making one. Or And I will definitely update the collection once I've made a good few more. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.